Hello and welcome to this demo. Uh, so it will be really quick. I was just uh, give an overview of the new uh, tutorial implemented uh, about Tamos. So I'm going to share my screen. Um, okay, can everyone see my screen? Yep. Okay. Uh, so this tutorial is about uh, managing vulnerabilities with Tot. So uh, it's pretty simple. It's based on CLI examples. On the example we implemented um, with the simple uh, game of game of life application uh, to see how Tamos can help uh, managing vulnerabilities uh, in your application software stack. So it's in four parts. Uh, Three of these parts are more kind of um, a demo of what users can do with Tamos commands uh, with the command line tool. So uh, in the first part, you have an introduction to uh, Toads. Uh, and you can see how uh, so the basics of Tamos, how to install it, uh, how to see the commands uh, available, um, and then how to configure the .yaml file. Uh, how to uh, ask Tamos for advice uh, on your application, so without adding anything first. Uh, how to install uh, your dependencies, how to run um, your uh, your scripts, and then how to see logs. Uh, and then in the second part, uh, the users can introduce a vulnerability that is known, that is in the database we use as um, the PyPA advisory database. Uh, so in the application software stack, you have a uh, dependency pillow and we'll, the user uh, adds, adds this uh, dependencies in the version 8.00, uh, which has a vulnerability. Uh, so what we can do now is ask Tamos for advice uh, and precise that we would, would like uh, advice on security and then the output such that um, Tamos will not be able to satisfy direct dependencies because of this vulnerability. Uh, and now, uh, after the user can uh, see this vulnerability, uh, they can revert to a version that doesn't have uh, a known vulnerability and runs the application. Uh, so it's a pretty simple example. Uh, and in the third part, you have more information about uh, container image security with Tot, so about Tamos images uh, commands. And then you have simply more information also on the references with our social media accounts and links to some interesting articles to complete um, this tutorial. So that's pretty much it. Um, any questions? So it's supposed to run on my workstation. I simply going to do something like portman run Fedora to get into a pristine Fedora installation and then I go ahead, right? Uh, so it's not interactive, so you have to copy and paste uh, the commands uh, on your own terminal. Yeah. We don't have cool. an interactive version yet. Nice. Okay. Cool. Thanks for that. Thank you.